Okay, we're opening up that. Certainly remember Carney Lansford. Ooh, I didn't even realize. Nice. Uh, we've been talking about that a lot, Lou. To me, you're going to be going after these multi-leader cards, and you're trying to get a mantle card for your collection, but you can't quite afford one. Go after the 62 with a mantle Maris. I was shocked. I had a PSA 7 in stock. I don't know why I was looking at the price for it. Like 100 bucks, 150 bucks. I mean, it has two of the greatest ball players for the Yankees in the last 50, 75 years during the height of their most important Hall of Fame, ra um, Hall of Fame, a uh, home run race. I just think that when you, when you, if you don't follow, and I'm not saying to be a leader in baseball cards, but if you don't follow and you're, you know, you're not a sheep in that regard, and you just think, and you just realize like, hey, I like collecting and I want to budget, and I want to get the most cards I can. You start thinking about stuff like that. You can, you can have a lot of fun with collecting. I did not know that, but I'm about to look. That is fascinating to me. So this probably just means these are the five. Okay. So, Lou, it just means that these were the five best. But Schmidt, you won it with 31. But you're right. They didn't commonly have five on it, so it kind of made me think that it was tied. But it wasn't. Okay. Yep. So Lou, it just means that these are the five best. But uh, Schmitty won it with thirty-one. Really? But you're right. They didn't commonly have five on it, so it kind of made me think oh, that it was tied. I thought it was but A L N N I. Yeah, he did have a. I I remember actually the second part of his career a little bit better than the first. First of all, I was a little bit older, and second of all, yes, I remember him uh, doing pretty well. Um, I'm watching some of these lane, uh, these lanes, these these comments uh, come in here. That would cause the government to shut down. I mean, this is hysterical. I love it. What we found, what to do with old gum? I'm convinced. Um, I'm watching some of these lane, uh, these lanes, these, these comments. Uh, Just a few more minutes here, or a minute or two, to get in your comments. <laughs> what we found, what to do with old gum. Yep. So, Lou, something else that I was going to try for next year, Just a few more as we are, uh, you know, doing giveaways. So we do lots of stuff during the show uh, that we give away right on the spot or at the end of the show. I was thinking about doing stuff where we're going to give away a whole box. But maybe during that show, we'll give away, let's say, like half the packs. And the following show, we give away the other half. So for those folks that were in on the first half, you know, through trivia questions or what have you, right? But it gives folks a reason to come back the next week because they're going to see, first of all, they'll have a chance to win uh, spots in the other part of the box, the other, the other half. But then also, of course, if they want to see their box opened, um, that they have their free pack in, um, I think that might be a fun idea for next year. First of all, they'll have a chance to win spots in the other part of the box, the other half. But then also, of course, if they want to see their box open, I like um, that they have their free Yeah, it's been a heck of a year. Uh, thanks for joining us, Matt. Rock, yeah, appreciate it, bud. What I've loved about the show is the audience. We uh, just added a 1954 Topps baseball set break to vintagebreaks.com. Check it out. It features a number of PSA graded cards, including a Hank Aaron rookie in a PSA 4, an Ernie Banks, Mr. Cub, of course, rookie in a PSA 4.5, and, and an Al Kaline rookie in a 4. Fun fact about Mr. Kaline, so although he's a little bit older these days, still uh, one of the greatest uh, living Hall of Famers that are, uh, that are out there in baseball, he'll sign for you, Lou, through the mail for like 10 or 15 bucks. Yep, so you won't have the good fortune, of course, of meeting him or hearing his great stories. But let's just say you have his rookie card, or even more so, his second year is so affordable, it's insane. You could send his, uh, you know, little nice note. Um, I think it's sportscollectors.net. You can find his address online. You know, send her 10 or 15 bucks. Turns it around usually in a week or two. You could send his, you know, little nice note. I think it's sportscollectors.net. You can find his address online. You know, send her 10 or 15 bucks. Turns it around. Oh, really? You were doing a little uh, little uh, treasure uh, hunting up there. I like it. Just with my son over the weekend, and he had some. Ah, okay. He was showing me some old sets that I gave him that I had hanging around from the early Ah, years. we had no choice then. Bill wants to live in the bathroom. Uh, little uh, treasure uh, hunting up there. I like it. Well, yeah, he had, to, he had to change his room because his, ah, okay. his mother made a second-story bathroom out of his room. So we were moving ah, stuff around. We had no choice then. Bill wants to live in the bathroom. Yeah. That he so as long as it's yeah, as long as it's not bent too much, what we call that is a vending curl. It could have come from vending. Um, and so you know, as long as they're actually not you know bent, uh, you know, or creased and such, then they're fine. Um, but I don't know your son's name, but I'll tell you what, Lou, we would be more than uh, pleased and proud and happy to help him if he'd like to grade 
you know, his Aussie rookie, I think you said maybe 82, was it, was the other set? You know, if you, 80, well, 81, um, if you want to slab a couple of the top rookies, we'd be happy to do on the house for him. I think it'd be kind of fun to not only just grade him, but maybe reveal it on the show. I think it's fun to do that kind of stuff. Absolutely. So um, we got one more giveaway for today before we give away this 85 Donruss. And it's only because I took the time to do the research. And I think Christmas birthdays and, of course, day after Christmas birthdays are great. We're going to look to the first person. It is football season. So hint, hint, it's a football player. What former quarterback who was recently elected to the Hall of Fame was born on Christmas Day? First person to name it will get a ten dollar break credit to finishbreaks.com. I'll give a I'll give a hint soon. Yep, I'll give a hint soon. Um, and he was only recently elected. Yes, only recently elected in the last several years was a former quarterback. I'll give a hint soon. Aikman, no, but good guess. That disables my guess then. Let's just say his nickname, you'll probably know it from this, Luke, because I'm, I'm, I'm realizing now it's late in the show, so we're going to give a little help here. Jim Kelly's a great guest, Chris, but not quite there. So this predates Jim Kelly and Aikman's playing days. He was nicknamed, and we're working on the S's with my son. He's doing great, Cross. I love you. I'm very proud of you, honey. The snake. Now you'll know. Now you'll know. Exactly. Thomas, you're getting to the same era, bud. And while we're waiting for the right answer for that, um, Lou, do we have one winner that you'd like to give away this 85 Leaf Pack to? Thomas, you're getting to the same era, bud. Great. Of course. George Jackson, congratulations. This is yours. We will ship you the pack because we're kind of out of time today. But please hit us up, john at justcollect.com or late at justcollect.com. And we have the one more prize to give away. It looks like we have an answer. Let's see here. First person to get this right is Brian B squared. Ken Stabler. And we have the one more prize to give away. It looks like we have an answer. Oh yeah. Let's see here. First person to get this right. You know, you are now not the first person to tell me that. I didn't know that was such a thing. And I and I almost feel like when when someone when someone first mentioned that to me, I didn't really believe it. But now I totally believe it. Yeah, no, it's really cool. Well, listen, Lou, I, I can't believe this, but this is our last show before the new year. And, of course, next week we talk about next week's show is going to be the watch party. Um, three different videos. I think it's going to be great. I sincerely appreciate your help. Uh, Tom and Rico have been great sports and kind of hooking us all up together. Um, I appreciate you um, uh, being amenable for your schedule. Uh, and, really, it's just been a lot of fun this year, Johnny Five. Uh, Tom and Rico have been great sports and kind of hooking us all up together. Um, I appreciate you. Yeah, well, Johnny Five, we couldn't have done without you, bud. And, of course, Mikey, if you're out there, if you're watching today, uh, Mikey's been breaking uh, like a madman all year. We couldn't do it without him. And, of course, um, you know, our wonderful and loyal customers of Vintage Breaks, um, our PSA fans, if you'd like to continue watching us today, we're going to take a, let's call it a lunch break, if you will, um, for a few hours. Uh, we're going to take off till 4.30 p.m. Then we'll be back on breaking. And when I say breaking, I mean, we have a lot of stuff to open. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Lou, thanks again, buddy. I really appreciate it, and I'll drop you a line with you Happy New Year in the next couple of days. Uh, we're going to take off till 4.30 p.m. We'll be back yep, sounds good. Take it easy. When I say breaking, I mean, we have a lot of stuff to open, so Same. sit back, yep. relax, enjoy the show. You just let me know what you're talking about. I really appreciate it, and I'll drop you a line with you Happy New Year in the next couple of days. Yep, Happy New Year, and we'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Yep, sounds good. Take it easy. Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, we'll be back, or well, I'll be back at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time to break as usual, as normal. Uh, so we'll see you guys then. Uh, make sure that uh, you like on the uh, PSA car show um, so this way you get notifications when we go live yeah you want to follow us there too uh, as well as our YouTube uh, channel hey Mike uh, thank you man for watching and uh, staying with us <clears throat> so everybody on Facebook YouTube we'll see you back hey Chris we'll see you back at in two hours. We'll be back in two hours. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys.